Hello everybody, this is FTOG Server, Infinity Evolved, Toddy the Body here. So, as you can tell, we are in an RF Tools dimension. Um, this is not our own, Brink made this for us. Uh, that wither spawning system that I have, it's, uh, it takes a whole lot of soul sand. So he made a soul sand world for us. And you can see by the uh, glitchy fireballs in the side that this also has a... Uh, gas dimlet attached to it not that he put it in there but it was random you could see they just spawn all over the place now i was thinking that this might be a good place for me to farm a gas soul finally but uh i am not having any luck i've been here for a while and uh yeah anyways let's go back to our base all right let's pop down here let's go to this one Okay, so we are going back to our area here. I was running, not running out of power, but like I could use some. Um, I think what we talked about in the nuclear area, when I pointed the uh, MFSU in a certain direction, then it, I would have a loss. But now we have two layers here. I think that's around 100,000 RF a tick. Um, so we should be good on power now. I know the guys at the creative sale, they're like laughing. Haha, we do way more than that, but... uh. I am not there yet, but we will be one day. One day when we make it. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm putting a bunch of stuff in my inventory. There we go. Let's check on our frames. I've been making some frames. This is what we did with our uh, ME drive. Drive setup. Uh, so when uh, these items were coming over, uh, it was taking the nuggets, I guess, because that's the smallest unit, maybe. So I had hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these diamond nuggets and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these iron nuggets. Uh, so, yeah, we had to pump it all back and uh, and fix that and get, get what we had before. Um, I left these on there because after these were gone and I started crafting stuff, I realized that I would have to make a crafting recipe to put four glowstone dust to a block of glowstone or to make iron blocks or, you know, so on. So this is just easier for crafting. Uh, so we have that. And everything else is inside of our storage. We're still all in the green. You can see the numbers there. We're not really filling up anything just yet. So that is that. Um, Let's see, I, I thought that I did something else between episodes, but maybe I didn't. So let's go to here, I guess. Um, oh, and uh, I changed out my laser over there. It's not lime green anymore, now it's cyan so that we can get the quartz ore. Uh, I think we have enough of the uranium and the emerald ore. So I want to... Obviously, I want to get more into the RF tools stuff which means I have to get into draconic evolution which means that I need some of the rarer ingots and some of those ingots come from thomcraft so that means I have to get into uh, into thomcraft I was thinking or at least the magic mods so we'll just say it that way let's uh tower up above here and I was looking at some of these ravines that I have going through my base and now I'm having a hard time finding it because I didn't want it. I thought that like, so, you know, there's more than one magic mod um, and I want it to keep them together, but they could take a lot of space as Hook was saying in his video. And uh, so I was thinking that if we come down here in the ravine, we can actually use the ravine here as our magic mod area. And uh, we'll make this look better. We'll put some grass in here. Uh, we'll dig off. Oh, it was dark over there. We'll dig off in one of the rooms. I like I like that cave. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I think this would be a good area down here. So if I could just get some of this looking better right now, uh, then maybe we can get started. So I was just going through and grassing it up a little bit. Maybe putting some torches here or there. Um, I was trying to think about what kind of lighting I want to put in here, but... Uh, I think I'm going to leave it torches for now just because later on I want to use that Thomcraft lantern that's supposed to light up, uh, what is it, a 16 by 16 area or I don't know, something like that. Uh, really the last time I really got into uh, a magic mod and played it all the way through was 
in 1.6.4 in the TPPI pack. Um, now, recently, I don't know what it is about 1.7. I don't know if it's because I feel like I don't know. They feel like I feel like they toy with my emotions. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna get some awesome piece of equipment, magical equipment, but then instead it turns into some green sludge or purple sludge. Am I out? I think I'm all out. All out of dirt. Okay, let's clear this out just a bit and then we'll call some more. There we go. And then we'll get this and we'll just we'll just get a few stacks this time. I've been hoarding this stuff for some reason. I didn't know what it was until now. But uh yeah, they toy with my emotions. Um or like I'm doing trying to get some cool piece of blood armor or something and uh there we go and I run out of blood because I went AFK I don't know it's just you know stuff like that so I think I think we're pretty good on the grass now I kind of I was wondering what it would be like with the dirt climbing up the walls but I kind of like this it almost looks like layered I don't know but I know that that's going to turn into regular dirt so maybe we'll have to see what it looks like later so let's take a look at our um area here yeah, we got the we got the dirt all the way. I was trying to think, should this be dirt? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that one too. But we'll leave that layer as is. There we go. And uh, yeah, and then I want to hit this cave also. That one that we flew through earlier. Is that it? Or is this it? Or are they both it? This might. What's up here? Uh, nothing. It just looks like some kind of nude. Okay, let's go back to our area, find a place to start digging. But, uh, with all of the changes from 1.6 to 1.7 that a lot of you might be familiar with, and I'm not, uh, I might do some things that just don't make sense as I'm doing them. So, if you see it, uh, forgive me. Bear with me a little bit and maybe tell me some tips if I miss something um, something that I have done already and I did it quite a while ago is I already made the thermometer yeah there it is let's get that but uh, I think something cool that we have in one in 2.5.0 is that you're supposed to be able to hover over stuff oh cool there it is you hover over stuff and I'm not pushing any buttons. I'm just putting the mount, the cursor over things. And then you get to scan them. So that's something that I'll get to do on my off time. Man, that makes it a whole lot easier. Okay, I want to try something. Let's, uh, can I see my regular inventory? No, I can't. I was hoping I could, like, put it through here. Darn. I guess that's one bonus of, uh, eight, that AE has over logistics pipes is that you'd be able to scan all your inventory whereas now I have to pull everything out unless I want to just throw a monitor onto my AE system I guess I could do that too anyway so let me find a place uh, to start digging uh, I think this is going to be our entrance I'm like um, yeah I'm 100% sure, sure this is going to be our entrance because I don't have any other way down into there right now Yep, that's not a way in. It's just this. Okay, so we'll pop down and, you know, maybe there will be an area over there, area over here, or it looks like this corner could be a nice entrance into a, t a type of room. Uh, but yeah, I'll get digging. So I started digging out a cave, or I started, yeah, I started digging out a uh, room to maybe start some Thomcraft, and I ran into a cave system. Now it's not like... It's just a regular ordinate out of the, it's just your regular run of the mill ore system. But I was thinking it's, you know, it's something, it's something that I thought it would be cool if, uh, let's throw this in here, get these. I thought it would be cool. Nothing, nothing out of those. Okay. If, uh, we made our magic out of the caves also instead of really like turn it into rooms and stuff we'll just kind of go with nature uh so i put a lot of dirt down 
I didn't run a, I didn't want to run out of my grass blocks, but I think since we're gonna be using magic over there, let's go ahead and use magic. If you put uh if you use shears on grass and then throw that into uh into one of these buckets here. Like I said, I don't know the magic mods yet, so I don't know the proper name, I guess I don't know. The the Batania bucket. That's what it's gonna be called from now on. You put the grass in there, you get some of these pasture seeds, and uh this is what we're going to do. We're going to go back to our area. Let's uh, see if we can get some saturation. There we go. And then try to find our ravine. It's getting harder to find because uh, it's grass down here now. Now, before I was able to just fly over it and see the, the stone, but now I can't do that anymore. So we have a new friend. We got Jerry over here. All right, so I started digging straight ahead like exactly where I was looking and then like as soon as I turn this corner bam there's another cave system so that's to be expected I got a bunch of dirt down here uh, it's probably not enough light as far as mobs I'm within range of my uh, environmental controller so I don't have to worry about mobs spawning down here Oop, I missed a piece so we'll see if you put down the seeds then grass starts to grow uh, it'll stop eventually, but at least it is a start so we can get some of this going in here. I'll throw some down here too. There we go. And I've only got 20, so... Oh, I've got 26. So let's just spread it around. There we go. Okay. And we'll get a torch because I don't think this is light enough there up here and this is about where I stopped so we'll go back the other way put down some dirt and then make a maybe just something to get us started because we haven't really started anything yet today okay Only three. Oh, okay. I thought it was only going to be three pieces. All right. We'll pick another one of these ledges. And that looks like the end over here. All right. I've got 17 more. I'll spread these around later. But, uh, so now let's see. If we are coming in from around this corner, let's have like a little, let's have like a little insert here so we could put our table. Um, our research table and all that. So let's just dig this out. Just like that. And that's probably big enough. Right? There we go. Now we've got all kinds of cobble that we don't want. And we're going to have to turn all this into dirt also. So I will do that later. Let's go. And uh, I think I have a wand. I think I made one. I don't. Not at all. What are they called? Maybe it's not called wand. Maybe it's called... Maybe it's called iron capped wand. That's pretty sure that's what I made. So, let's get that. And it's not in there. Okay. Where is this thing at? There it is. So I have that. Uh, now I need a table from Thumbcraft. Oh, not Thumbcraft. Thumbcraft. Uh, not that one, that one. Uh, instead of seeing me do this, let me get ready for it. Okay, so I just went and got a bunch of bookshelves. Uh, I put them in here. I think I think you're supposed to use bookshelves, right? Uh, so I just have a 9x9. Nine nine. Here is That's our little tunnel out into here. Got the little, uh, what did I call it earlier? A niche or, I don't know, closet? This is our research closet. Where we're going to be spending most of our time and playing the research game. I think what you are supposed to do is, uh, and we can move this around if we didn't do it right. Yeah, I think you're supposed to hit this with the wand. There we go. I got that. And then I heard a little click sound, so I don't know what that did. But even these are bookshelves down here and these are bookshelves above. Uh, and then you put down two tables and then you hit that with one of these scribing tools. Yep, there we go. Okay, 
And then we're supposed to go in here. You can see I've already messed around with this just a tad. And we're supposed to go in here and we can start uh, combining recipes. Like, uh, what are some of them that I remember just off the top of my head? I think, uh, what, one fish and one void is supposed to make... Oh, it's supposed to make magic. So I've already got that. Um, yeah, I think these are pretty much all that I have that I've remembered, but Thor made a good video on getting all of these, which I'll put down in the description if you haven't seen it already. But, uh, oh, there's a little star, or, uh, yeah, we'll call it a star. And I think what that means is that I can, it'll make more of this just by having the books around. I think if you do the shard crystals also, uh, that will work also. Uh, so maybe I'll play a little bit of this game and, uh, see where we're at maybe let some of this grass grow and it's, it's starting to grow in but yeah I'll, I'll get started on some of this game and then maybe we'll maybe we'll build something in thomcraft before the end episode is over okay i've been messing around a bit uh i watched thorgal's video and i got all of these things unlocked uh i did just a little bit of research pretty much these two and then i wanted to get into the uh, the thamium ingot. Is that that's what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. All right. So I want to actually make one. I want to be that cool. So let's go to spawn. I don't have a cauldron of my own, but I know that there's a magic area over here. And let's turn off our magnet. You have to put in four of the magic wand and then one mana steel, I guess. So there's four, and I guess there's other stuff inside there, but we are going to throw that in. Okay. Oh, I think what you can do is you can look at it. No? I don't know. And then uh, throw in one of these. Oh, look! I made some thamium. Sweet. So now we are well on our way. Um, there's probably a bunch of other nasty stuff in there I just put in, but I think it goes away. If not, then I hope I didn't mess it up. I mean, I've thrown all kinds of junk inside that pot. Anyways, so that is going to be our episode. We started a little magic area. And, uh, yeah, I hope we get to finish it up. Well, I mean, it's not a hope. I will finish it up. Uh, maybe I'll research some more stuff, and we'll see what we can use with our base. Yep, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.